Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again to the Farts and Crap Show, where I'm going to be your host for this video tutorial, Danjo McCraps. And yes, my Streamlabs OBS uh, is very barren right now, and here's why. You guys read the title. You already know what I'm going to be talking about. And unfortunately, it's a bit of sad news for version 0.22.3 on 7.16.2020, as you can see in the top left and the top right there. Um, I could not change my output settings, no matter what I did, and basically, based on my research, I found that you cannot change your settings. Obviously, these are grayed out because I'm recording right now, and you cannot change your output settings when you are streaming. Um, but even if you're not doing either of those things, uh, you need to dis... You need to disable everything. So enable replay buffer, uh, hardware acceleration, um, any sort of source that is getting any kind of information, um, anything that may be running, such as a webcam or a video capture device or anything like that, they all need to be turned off or stopped, if you will. Um, in order to change any of your output settings. Because for me, I wanted to change my recording format to MKV instead of MP4, and I wanted to increase my bitrate to 30,000. I could not do this even after disabling everything, removing every source. Um, this was even more blank than it was now. And I could not... I could not change my output settings. So I uninstalled the program, reinstalled it. I still could not change my settings. I logged out. As you can see, it says log in now. Um, I still could not. Um, so I did, I pushed the button. I deleted the cache and restart. Now this is scary for content creators or streamers because this is going to wipe your uh, version, your Streamlabs OBS install to default. Um, so all of your scenes, all of your sources, all of your overlays, all of your widgets, everything is going to be gone. Now you could potentially, if you had the technical know-how to back up your settings, uh, in a different file folder and then copy them back over to retrieve them in some way that might be possible or I don't know if OBS Studio has an import tool I, you could potentially import from Streamlabs OBS to OBS uh, then while that OBS is holding all your settings then wipe and uh, uninstall and all that sort of thing and I wish I tried that but I just now thought of that while recording so maybe try that first um but yeah unfortunately that was the only thing that finally let me change my output settings so whether you um yeah there's there are so many different reasons why you might want to change those things I'm hoping this is a bug I think it's a bug because I have changed my output settings much more easily in the past when things were uh, not running, not streaming, not recording. And, um, you know, I didn't even have any widgets or uh, media sources or anything like that active. Um, but yeah, I just had to delete everything essentially and then start back from scratch but um, I have had my way I've had my setup in Streamlabs OBS be a certain way for over two years now so I can recreate it it's not the end of the world I was going to switch to a different program because it just wouldn't let me change anything but um, after doing that after deleting the cache and restarting and uninstalling reinstalling I was finally able to change it, so I'm sorry there wasn't better news, guys. Um, maybe try that OBS, Streamlabs OBS, like uh, import thing, um, or just uh, 
backing up your settings into a different folder before, you know, deleting if you can find that sort of thing. Um, I'm sure neither of those processes would be that complicated. I wish I tried to do that, but honestly, I just wanted to get recording and uh, didn't think about it until now. So anyways, um, thank you guys for stopping by. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. If this helped you, please leave a like, consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, things are going to happen. Have a good one.